So could the Atlanta Hawks be trading away Clint Capella to the Golden State Warriors this 2024 NBA offseason? Well, here on the screen is a trade proposal or a trade idea from FadeAwayWorld.net. The link to this article is down below in case you want to check out the entire thing uh, for yourself. But this trade would see the Golden State Warriors receiving Clint Capella and the Atlanta Hawks receiving Kevon Looney, Gary Payton II, and a 2026 first round draft pick so in my personal opinion it's honestly a pretty solid trade for the Warriors to make yeah you're getting back maybe more of a rental option in Clint Capella uh, who I believe is entering the last year of his contract this upcoming season so that's a bit of a gamble for them in regards to long term um, you know asset management perspective but uh, if you're able to get back a pretty good player defensively speaking in Clint Capella this guy can average double double any given night I think, I think having him at the five alongside Draymond Green at the four makes this team one of the best defensive front courts in the entire NBA. And with Steph Curry, Jonathan Kaminga, uh, and the emergence of pods uh, last year for this Warriors team, I know the loss of Klay Thompson hurts offensively speaking, uh, the loss of Chris Paul hurts defensively speaking, but if you're able to replace, I guess, his defensive impact with someone like Clint Capella, who's a good rip protecting center that can collect rebounds and block some shots uh, and sort, sort of chip in offensively as well, maybe, maybe be a good pick and roll option for Steph Curry, for example, uh, this could be actually a a pretty nice combo uh, for this Warriors team next year in 2024. And where I think the Warriors get the most value here is what they're giving up for someone like Clint Capella. Uh, Kevon Looney is a good player, has been with the Warriors for quite some time now, but he's not really anything special. Uh, Gary Payton, when healthy, is a pretty good defensive player, but uh, he has, you know, some injury concerns nonetheless. Uh, and I guess if you're the Hawks, you're getting back a first round pick in 2026 uh, with the departure of DeJounte Murray a couple weeks ago now with him getting traded to the Pelicans. Perhaps they could be heading into a bit of a retool or a rebuild. And if you're able to collect some draft picks, that's always a good thing. So I guess it's not always, you know, it's not all uh, terrible for the uh, the Hawks in this scenario. But I think for the Warriors, there's a little bit of pressure on them uh, and the front office to get some more players to help Steph Curry, make him happy and get this Warriors team back to the playoffs. Because last year, it was a disaster for them. Uh, and with them losing a way, uh, losing uh, Clay Thompson and Chris Paul, things don't look too bright right now for the Warriors and, and their future. So I think for the Warriors, this is a pretty good step in the right direction for a relatively inexpensive asking price. Uh, but that, of course, is just my opinion if you have a different opinion or you agree or whatever leave all your thoughts down below as always